Okay, we have our waffles. There's one. And two. We're going to put them back in, right? Remember? We're going to go ahead and put some onions on our waffle and some pickles. And a slice of cheese. You can use cheddar. I happen to be using Munster. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna fold it in half because I'm gonna be cutting this sandwich in half and on the di diagonal. I'm gonna put some meat in between. Just enough for a little bit of flavor, but not too much. I'm gonna go ahead and fit these back together, put a little bit more meat in there. Put this back together and try to fit it on the waffle. And I'm gonna close it again. It's gonna actually make it a panini and it's going to cook. Let's see how long it says to put the Carefully fit the sandwich back into the bottom waffle plate. Cook in a closed position until the cheese is melted. And then we will return it. We will do it again. It looks like I have turned it off, so I need to go back and cancel and go back to my custom. I'm gonna turn it for just, go back to 350. And let's see how it's doing. You can see it's toasting up. How's our melt? Oh, the cheese almost melted. And that's what we're having for dinner tonight. So this new um, deluxe griddle, I can grill. I can use it as a griddle. I can use it as a waffle maker. And I'm trying out some different recipes. So this is the first one barbecue pork and cornbread waffles.